Well, all right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you are up. Oh, fan. Hold on a minute. Let's get the atmosphere, don't we? Yeah. Only the lovelies are allowed into my readings. Unless otherwise specified. You guys like my dress? I felt like putting on a dress, but I did not feel like doing makeup after I washed my hair. I feel just, oh, oh, so amazing. So amazing. My hair is light and happy. My skin is like breathy. Thank you, Mandy. I, I didn't even want to do moisturizer yet. It just felt like I needed to be pretty naked right now. Felt like I needed to be as naked as possible. We're doing a base body. This is going to be for the rest of August. There's not many, you know what? What are we on then? The 18th? No, no. Yes. It's the 18th. 818. 818.23. Wonderful. Love it. Lionsgate lineup, right? So, Taurus, you're going to be first up here. We are using the Cosmic Oracle Tarot. Uh, many, many spelling errors on this deck, but I fell in love with it. Its energy is just very light and, you know, I'm just, I've got flaws too. And it, it, it's okay because they're still perfectly good cards and broken crayons still color the same, right? Yeah. Except if it's a little piece. It gets like, ugh. But I, I was that kid. And I'm still like that. Um, my karma comes to mind. I will not throw it away until I'm sure that it's just, it's it's at the end of the line. I have taken it until the wheels fell off. And uh, I'll let you rest. Thank you for your services. With my Carmex, I'll take my pinky nail because I get the tubes, the, the regular like chapstick tubes. And I'll just like keep carving it out after I can't roll it up anymore until I can't get any more Carmex out of it. And I throw it away. True story. I don't know why I told you guys that. Anyway, um, this is for August for Taurus. <laughs> the remaining of August. We'll see what's going on uh, in your recent past. We're going to keep the theme. But we're just going to do a recent past that's affecting your current energy. And then we're going to see where you're going to be by the end of August, which isn't very far away. So these are just nice, short, little fun reads. And if anything resonates with you, and you know, uh, <coughs> excuse me, and you would like to book a private reading, you can do so below. I am doing a fun special off my Instagram. If you're not on my Instagram, please go on there and uh, give me a follow because right now I'm doing $10 for uh, three cards, one question. And that's just fun. I like to do that every now and then because virtually anyone can afford $10 and they get the tarot experience. So we're going to do past present future recent past affecting your current energies and we're going to see where you are by the end of august with the cosmic oracle and then we are going to clarify with the good old classic rider weight and we will get uh advice from the urban crow oracle which i love this is also a new deck so these two are my newest decks i have one more newer one over here but these ones are are the newest newest and so I've got the two new ones and the old dog, the old right away. Uh, my blankie got all caught up on this. Sorry. Okay, so Taurus, let's get this party started. It is August. I'm in California. It's been hot. I've, I had a very miserable hot day yesterday because I, you know, it's also that time of the month and I was just hot anyway so i was hot on top of my hot and i was irritated on top of my irritated oh it was not nice to be me yesterday no 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 but today is much better because we take control and we learn our lessons and we learned you know hey the way i handled this last time kind of made things just worse if it didn't make them worse it just made them stuck so today we're going to try something better. And if you guys are into personal development, if you're into mental health awareness, I do so much bipolar, borderline personality disorder, uh, ADHD, autism, all me. So I speak on that uh, from experience and I offer lots of tips and tools. Um, and I post most of those on my TikTok, and they do get shared to my Instagram sometimes, but sometimes um, Instagram doesn't like to play my videos, the, the long ones. So 
If you're not on my TikTok and you like that type of thing, uh, please go on that. All of that information will be below. All of my social media will be posted below. I would love to have you on there. Always, always, always love to hear that my content helps people who struggle and reminds them how beautiful and wonderful that they really are and that we are made to feel kind of what is the word we're we are made to feel different and like less in in the neurodivergent community and in the bipolar community there's a lot of stigma around mental health and i love that it has started to lift i do and i just i want to speak and and all of my stuff is all authentic it's all from experience so if you guys struggle with any of that and you need just a spiritual gal pal to give you a boost every now and then please stay on this channel sorry i'm having a stuffy nose stay on this channel um go onto my TikTok. Add me on Instagram and I'm even on Facebook, guys. And all of those platforms, I post different things everywhere. So if you were to ask me, hey, what one place can I go to see all your things? I would be like, that place doesn't exist. <laughs> you, you have to add all the social media, but it's all down below. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm having fun with you. You guys um, have been great. Those of you who have stayed with me, um, in this transition of this channel. Um, this channel was not just tarot, it was kind of everything. And I, I'm really trying to simplify and make things easy on myself because with ADHD and with bipolar, we have that low frustration tolerance and, and you know, overwhelm real easy. And if there's too many moving parts, I will fucking throw away the machine. Like, I, I'm just like, nope, I'm done with that. You know, give me some labeled bins. That's what I want. Labeled bins. So that's what it is. Labeled social media bins from now on. Yep. Uh, okay. This is for Taurus. I need to stop talking so much. I'm just, I'm real happy to be here with you guys. This is reading tarot and doing divination and, and readings and helping people spiritually is really home. It's really home for me. And it feels just really nice to be here with you guys. I wanted to let you know. Now, this is for Taurus, August. What are they up to now? We want to see a recent past that is affecting the current energy. And we want to see where the end of August lands us. This is for Taurus. We're going to go. Spirit says go. Spirit says go. Commitment. Oh, this one I wanted to chase and challenges in the river. You know, I'm going to take both of these. If, if, if a card wants to chase another card, I will take it, even though I say that I'm going to do limited cards to keep these short. So we have commitment and this is in our past energy, a commitment and a challenges in the reverse. So something you have in your past, you have overcome. You have overcome something. This could be with another person, but commitment doesn't just have to be rings. This, this can be commitment to yourself, commitment to your growth, commitment to your um, endeavors, to a business that you want to start, commitment just to what you want to do. This could be commitment to yourself. So it could be commitment to another. We will clarify. But whatever this commitment is in your past energy, challenges have been overcome. So this commitment came. Okay. It was followed, followed by challenges overcome. Um, we, we listen to the way that the cards come out. So commitment came first and then, you know, it, it's like a commitment to overcome your challenges is, is what this is because it wanted to come out. So this is a commitment to overcome your challenges. What challenges? I'm not sure. Let us, let us, let us, let us continue and see what's in your current energy. Taurus, this is for Taurus. August current energies. Where are they currently? Spy in the reverse. You are keeping to yourself. This is spy in the reverse here. This guy, he's so nosy. What, what's everyone else up to? What are they doing? What are they doing over there? What do they have that I don't? No, 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 no more of that. This is spy in the reverse. You have got all of your attention onto yourself where it belongs 
as I say quite often. Give me a future, a future heading energy, please, for Taurus. That's the one. Okay, manifest in the reverse. Something could feel, it, it feels like you got what you wanted. Like done. Like you're manifesting, done. Um, manifest in the reverse. I'm, I'm feeling like you are getting what you want. Otherwise, this would be stuck energy. This does not feel stuck to me. This, this feels like I was manifesting this and I finally got it. I finally got it. I finally manifested it. All right. Let's clarify this, Taurus. Wow. I love it. A commitment to overcome your challenges, keep to yourself, and you are getting what you want at the end of August. If you don't already have it now, let's clarify. We're going to clarify with the good old fashioned Rider Waite tarot deck. I keep an eye on my candle over there, make sure it doesn't start creeping over closer to my plant. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. You think that you set a candle far enough away from a plant, and then all of a sudden the plant's just like, hey, hey, what's, what's that? I'm going to touch it. I'm like, plant no sorry i need to calm down i am very much in a very high energy state if you guys watch my um videos i did post content on my tiktok this morning um about uh transmuting energy that would otherwise have uh, been negative and wrecked your day because that's where i was this morning so i'm very much still riding that high energy wave because i successfully flipped that shit. i flipped the direction there was a train of negativity hauling one direction and i was able to pump the brakes on it slow it down and get it to go the other way so i'm really proud of myself if you guys struggle with that go ahead and um add me on TikTok. i think that you would find value in the stuff that i talk about on there if you can relate Two things like that. Okay, so we are going to clarify, clarify, clarify. Taurus, Taurus. What are um, what shit? What what are these challenges? Now the commitment came in the front. We are um, we're going to clarify the past energies of commitment and challenges overcome in the past position for Taurus. For Taurus, what is this about? What was this about? What caused them to really focus inside? There it is. <sighs> the lovers in the reverse. Okay. Shit not working out. Like I try and I try and I try and this doesn't work. And now in my current, I am flipping my attention back on me. You overcame a challenging connection. It feels like it could be a pattern of connections. Um, and a commitment now to love yourself, to give this lover's energy to yourself, because this is connection and this is connection one-on-one, -on -one, us, one-on-one, -on -one. you know, this is me and you looking in the mirror. It's me and you. Let's figure this shit out. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. Let's clarify spy in the current energy for Taurus. Ooh. let's clarify spy in the reverse and the current energy for taurus for this august gotcha okay <sighs> i have an eight of cups in the reverse you have turned your energy back on you but i do feel that there's still a bit of, of a um, a bit of a lingering of of kind of wanting to go back to something and that's you know when we get stuck in patterns it's like it's what you know it's hard to change it is hard to change but i feel you going through it anyway like look at you you're just walking on it's hard to walk away but you're doing it you may still think back into the past but you're walking and this is beautiful beautiful energy i love it it isn't easy to just like like i was talking about uh, my crazy train earlier. It It isn't easy to take a train that's hauling ass one direction. You can't just like hit the brakes and zoom the other way. You're going to kill everyone on board. <laughs> we don't want to do that. 
We're good conductors. We are good life conductors. We pump the brakes. We do the work. We slow down the, the momentum of the wrong direction. And then we can slowly get rolling the other way. And then we can gain speed the other way. A chug, a chug, a chug, a chug, a chug, a chug, a chug. Woo! Yep, that's it. Now, this manifest in the reverse. This I was feeling, we're going to clarify this, but my original feelings, what I'm picking up off of this card is you're getting what you want. Like, like these hands are praying, like, please, 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 please. In the reverse, it's like, thank you, 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 thank you. We are going to clarify that though. For the future position, this is the end of August for Taurus. Clarify this manifest in the reverse, please. Clarify manifest in the reverse. What's going on with that? Gotcha, bitch! Oh! Manifested! Ten of goddamn pentacles! This excites me. I get excited for you guys. I'm a Taurus! Did you know that? I am. Um, this is great. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, this is manifesting for you. You're on it. And I feel this focus on yourself. You're really just like, give me my coins and leave me the fuck alone. This is giving me my happy ending. I, I, I don't need shit people around me. I don't. Give me my happy ending. Oh, how wonderful. Oh, and the feelings inside of me is just like confirmation of you guys are really excited right now. You're really, really kind of moving forward. And I do resonate with this 100%. Um, really feeling yourself overcoming the challenge of the commitment. And the challenging commitment was the one to commit to yourself and who you are, your beliefs, your values, what you're fucking worth, and not giving yourself to shit connections that don't you know, lift you up. If they don't level you up, why, why do we want to expose ourselves to relationships or to people in general? It doesn't just have to be love. It, it could be um, toxic family that you're hanging around too much. You're choosing not to go, you know, to go less and to stay less uh, or to not stay as long. It's go less and don't stay as long. Yeah, with toxic family or uh, with friendships that weren't working out that maybe were dragging you down. It, it doesn't have to be a love relationship. Okay, these are just connections that aren't working, but you are walking away. And even though you kind of you're still struggling, looking back could possibly just be looking back and knowing just no, I know that I'm doing the right thing. This is hard, but I'm doing the right thing. I'm walking forward. I am going toward my destination, my new my new destination away from these cups here. These cups that were empty. They weren't working out for you. But I, I mean, you're, you're uh, headed the right direction. This is just a beautiful confirmation of your manifestations. They are here. They are here. So keep the faith. If you don't see them, things are a vibration before they manifest into a material. So if you're feeling good, it's on its way. So keep doing what you're doing. Um, I don't even think, I don't think you need advice. Uh, obviously, you're, you've got everything under control here, but... <sighs> indulge me advice for taurus here taurus on their way and the only thing i can see in your current energy is there still is some doubt but you're overcoming it and and things things are looking good you stay on the track that you're on stay on the track that you're on and you are overcoming this i love it you guys stay focused i don't even think my guides want to give you advice at all that's too many cards. Two only. Two only. We'll save the long reads for the people who want to pay and book long reads. There she is. One. Oh, no, that was two. I'm going to take the one on top. Okay. Anticipation. I'm not going to take balance in the reverse, but I will keep it in mind. Um, anticipation came out. Yeah, you're antsy. Yeah, you're antsy, antsy, antsy. Anticipation for your current energy. Is this going to work out? Are you anticipating? Don't anticipate. We want to expect. I expect everything's going to work out. Not, I hope everything works out. I really hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. I'm anticipating a little bit. No, we're knowing. We're knowing. Universe got me. Everything's working out for me. 
I trust myself. Give me one more. One more for advice. So trust yourself is what Spirit is saying there. Look forward in knowing, not in anticipation. Unless it's excitement. If you're looking forward in excitement, like I know, I know these pentacles are coming. I know this happy ever after is coming. This is like one of the best cards, seriously. I hope, like, like this came out in my reading. I'm a Taurus. I'm like, wow, thanks, Spirit. This is like major confirmation of what I'm going through. Now, influence. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. You are an influence to others. And fuck yeah, I'm going to resonate with this because I have been pumping out content when I was feeling so depressed. I stopped making content. And of recent, I've just been like, I'm so inspired to just like, throw up everything good that I know and that I've learned all over the internet so that everyone can benefit. So with influence here, people look up to you. You are influencing others in a positive way. So keep it up. Keep it up, Taurus. That's what I have for you. If you guys want a personal reading, you know what to do. Look down in the box. You can get a hold of me. Have a great rest of your August and I will see you for... August, September, September reading. Woo! Oh crap, I forgot to do the disclaimers. Disclaimers, these are general readings. If the reading does not resonate with you, go check your moon and your rising because there may be messages there for you as well. There is no gender in tarot, ignore all that, blah, blah, blah. Energy is fluid. My readings are not timeless. I think that that is stupid. When I do, <laughs> no offense to readers out there who say their readings are timeless. So when this five-year-old video finds you, that's when you're meant to see it. Yeah, I don't believe that crap. Sorry. The energy comes to me as I need it. And energy is always changing. And I do not throw up old energy into the new and say that it's yours. I will never say that my readings are timeless. Like if my readings are, um, if you hit a reading that's more than, I would say three months old, I would say don't, just, just don't even listen to it. Uh, do your recents. I like to, I, I feel good time-wise working in quarters. Um, I, I always feel like within three months, there are messages there. And that's just the way that I work. I'm not hating on other tarot readers who say that their messages, messages are timeless. I am saying that that is not what my messages are. They come out as they come out and they come out into the new. Um, so if that makes me a fucking snob, fucking snob it up, Bella, snob it up. You guys are amazing. And I appreciate, ooh, I appreciate you being here on my channel for sure. If you guys like what I do, if you love the way that I read, please do subscribe, like the video, share my content. If you know someone who is into tarot and divination and would also benefit from my readings here, you guys have been amazing. I need to get two more of these that I can just juggle them. I can juggle. I can juggle you guys. You might not believe me, but I can. <laughs> All right, you guys. Be well and namaste.